You can determine the areas closest to each of your facilities by building areas of influence. You also have the option of estimating the attributes within each area to determine areas that are under or over served. Choose the point layer to use from the drop down list on the standard toolbar. And then choose Tools, Geographic Analysis, Areas of Influence. You can choose to build your areas of influence around all features or a selection set and enter a name for the new layer. You can also choose whether to estimate attributes for each of the areas of influence. Enter a file name for the new layer you're creating. Mathitude creates the areas of influence and adds them to the map. Notice that everything within this area here is closest to this store. Everything in this smaller area is closest to this store. If you chose to estimate attributes, you can create a theme on the areas of influence to illustrate any of the calculated attributes. This drop-down list contains all the fields that were calculated. I'm actually going to create a formula field of the population density in 2020 using this estimated 2020 population. Choose the 20 population field divided by area. And I'll call the new field I'm creating density and click OK. Finally, I will click the Styles tab and choose a color ramp that does not include green so that my stores will be easier to see. And lastly, I will set the areas of influence to draw earlier so that they do not obscure the features in the map. And that wraps up this tutorial on creating areas of influence.